Hey guys, it's Aaron from Aaron's Outdoor, and in today's video, you can already tell by the title, but I will be fishing with some rooster tails, which are one of the most popular um, inline spinners that they sell at Walmart. And I actually started off this day of fishing with some little tiny crankbaits. I caught some fish on those, but I, I thought I definitely could have caught more fish, so I decided to switch to the rooster tail, hoping it would catch me more fish, and well, that turned out to be a really good idea. So. Anyway, I start off the video fishing with this 1 16th ounce rooster tail in the fire tiger color. And I actually switched to this quarter ounce white rooster tail at the end of the video and ended up catching some bigger fish on it. So make sure to stay tuned till the end of the video to see that. But anyway, here's the fishing. Okay, so even though I did just catch up a uh, second fish on the little ultralight rip and wrap, I think if I was using a different lure, I definitely could have caught more fish. So I think I might switch to a little uh, rooster tail. So it's actually not a little crankbait, but Rooster tails usually work pretty well. Yeah. Caught one little bluegill. Poop. Now I caught a bass. <laughs> I have my drag super loose just because it's kind of more fun. There we go, a little bass. First one on the rooster tail. Alright, well the rooster tail definitely caught this fish faster than uh, the other two lures took to catch a fish. And uh, just a little bass, nothing too special. There we go. Another fish. Next cast. Well, I think the rooster tail is definitely a good switch. It's catching fish a lot faster than those other crankbaits. And another bass. This one's even smaller. But another, another one on the rooster tail. There's one. Right off the island, that little, kind of by that submerged tree. Oh! He got off. Another little bass. I'm surprised I've only had three bass hit this and no bluegill. Okay, now we're coming up to the best spot in this pond, which is this little cove back here. It's almost always a bunch of fish. Got one. There we go. First cast in the cove. They're usually stacked back. Oh my, there's a decent sized bass right in front of me. Uh, dang it, if I'd only, if I hadn't had a fish on the line, I might have been able to cast to him, but bluegill. And I was kind of surprised that I didn't have a bluegill hit this faster. Uh, I was just surprised that I had three bass at the beginning, but there's a little bluegill. Because, I mean, these rooster tails look, are good for bass, but they also catch a lot of, you know, panfish and little bluegill. No, next cast. Dang, okay. Little bass. There we go. Man, I'm glad I switched to this rooster tail. So, I mean, I don't know. This is doing a ton better than those ultralight crankbaits. Like, I've caught, I think, yeah, I've already caught four fish on this. I had another one on, so almost five. And I've only had this on for like 10 minutes. Got one. This guy seems bigger, he's jumping like crazy. But another baby bass. Yeah, I'm really surprised. I mean, uh, I wouldn't expect to catch so many more bass on this than bluegill. But it's just catching fish, and that's good. And I, I actually rather catch bass, honestly, probably than bluegill. But I, I mean, I don't know, I'd rather have a mix, and that's what I have. There we go. Yeah, wet. like the farther you go back into this cove, almost the better. Because there's just more and more cover the farther you back you go. And typically that means more fish. Now, now this is just like stupid how fast I'm catching them. But there's another bass. My dog is enjoying it. She just stares at the fish. Oh my goodness, it really is getting stupid now. That's my next cast. This is a better one, decent little bass. <laughs> now I'm starting to wonder like, dude, you really don't need all those bass lures. Like this rooster tail, uh, it's just catching them like crazy. The rooster tail is, 
I mean, yeah, it's a bass lure, but it's more like a multi-species lure. And bass is one of the fish it catches a bunch of. So another one. There we go, another one. Dude, I'm catching so many bass on this thing. It's crazy. Like, I'm so surprised I haven't caught more bluegill on it. Oh, getting tangled up in this log. I mean, they're not big, but it's just, it's fun. Just catching a bunch of fish. I'm out of like stuff to talk about. I'm just catching them like crazy. Oh, oh, dang it. I just saw that bass. That was like a, another like half pound bass that just came up, and tried to bite it. I shouldn't have hook set it so hard. It, you really don't need a hard hook set with this. Another one. Hey, this might actually be a bluegill or, oh no, it's a baby bass. Man, I'm just reeling them in. Well, I have been using, I feel like I've been using kind of a lot of just little crankbaits and stuff for creek fishing, but I'm gonna have to use a rooster tail more often because, I mean, yeah, I'm not at a creek, but they're, it's wearing these fish out. Like, it's doing a lot better than this, both those crankbaits. All right, another fish. Oh my goodness, how many bass are back here? How many fish are back here, really? I feel like all the fish in the entire pond are back here. That again was my next cast. <laughs> oh, he's about to get me stuck. Oh, whoa. I don't think he was stuck in the head like that. <laughs> I don't think he was. Well, there's yet another little bass. Ooh, oh, there, wow. Dude, this water's so clear, I can literally just see them strike it. Boom. And I moved a little bit farther back here, and as soon as I did, I caught another one. And this is crazy, I don't think I've ever caught like this many bass so fast, like anywhere. Definitely the fastest in this pond. All right, there's another fish, just another little half pounder, but I'll take him. Barely any room to cast. Nice, oh my, oh, that was another bass. A little one. Let's try that again. <laughs> there we go. I don't know if that was the same one or not, but something came up and hit it. I have caught, I have caught well over 10 bass since you left. All right, well, there's yet another bass on this rooster tail. And he, it's about like a foot, foot and a half of water back here, but they're still back here. Oh. There we go. Oh, there's another bluegill. Oh, well, he fell back. Well, my GoPro just died, so I'm going back to the house to get another battery because I'm definitely not done fishing. I mean, this thing is... This little rooster tail is doing so well. It's a lot better than I expected uh, it to do. And I wanna see if it'll catch a bunch of fish in the other pond too, cause it's definitely caught a bunch in this pond. All right, so the GoPro is charged now. I actually did take a little break, but now I'm back in the other pond, uh, way back in the cove in this pond, which is not really quite as good as the cove of the other pond. Got one. There we go. This guy hit it real shallow. First one on the rooster tail in this pond. Didn't take too long. Took a little longer than it did in the other pond, but I think there's just not as many in the cove in this pond. Anyway, first one here. This is another small one. But I'll take him. Mine was at least three quarters. But... There's, there's one. Well, y'all, I just had the I just caught one a second ago and the camera was not running. It was actually probably the biggest one of the day. Because I did switch to a bigger rooster tail now. And as you can tell, I have a different rod also. But this is the second one on this bigger rooster tail, which is a quarter ounce um, instead of the 1 16th. 
There we go, just another half pounder. There's one. Man, this rooster tail is doing pretty well. I've caught three fish in probably like three minutes. Well, I don't know if they're really any bigger on this bigger rooster tail. The first one was, but y'all didn't see that. But anyway, yeah, another like this one's probably like a quarter pound. There's a fish. It's been a little while since we've got one and he got off. Got one. This one actually feels better. This one does feel better. That's not that big, but it's a pretty decent one. Uh, I'll let some line out. Gotta be careful with this lighter rod. Jeez, there we go. Well, this guy's about a pounder. Okay, well that is probably the biggest fish of the day. That's not a bad one. There he goes. There's one. Oh, it's not that big, but mm, it's actually not too bad. Actually, this guy is a little bigger than the last one, so he's definitely the biggest of the day now. Not a ton bigger, but maybe a quarter pound bigger. Might be a pound and a quarter. All right, well, it's good that they're getting bigger. The bigger rooster tail is definitely catching bigger fish, which kind of makes sense, but anyway. Got one. Must not be. I don't know if there's algae on here or not, but this is a really small one. Or no, never mind. Oh, I thought he was way smaller than this. He's not very big, but he's not a bad one. Oh, that was actually a pretty good one. That actually might have been the biggest one of the day. I didn't even realize it. There's one. Not too bad. Mm. Yeah, this rooster tail is actually catching pretty decent fish. Like a big rooster tail. All right, well, there is yet another fish. I don't, I don't even know how many fish I've caught on the rooster tail today. Um, it's probably almost 20 fish. Well, as y'all just saw, those rooster tails sure did work super well. I caught a ton of fish on the little 1 16th ounce one. And then I also caught a few more on the quarter ounce one in the white color, so those definitely worked really well. The best place to buy rooster tails is probably Walmart. Uh, they're really cheap there, but I'll also have a link down below for Amazon. Um, they're probably a little bit more there, but it might be a little bit more convenient because you can just buy them online there. But I wanted to talk about the rods I was using really quick. The first rod I was using was a six foot light action rod. And the thing with these rooster tails is you really want a rod with a very light tip so you can kind of just sling the bait out there because they're small lures, but they weigh a lot. so. The light tip just allows you to cast them a lot farther, and this is a St. Croix Triumph spinning rod. I've only had it for about two weeks, but I have loved it so far. It's a great rod, and I've got a little Shimano Nasi 1000 reel, which is also a really great reel. And for the quarter ounce rooster tail, I was using a 6.7 medium light rod. It's also got a really light tip, and this thing could cast that uh, larger rooster tail a mile. I mean, way farther than any average lure. And uh, this is a Lose Mock spinning rod with a Shimano Sedona 2500, so you know, a little bit bigger setup for that little bit bigger rooster tail, but this also works super well. And I'll have links for that gear down below as well, so I so hope you all found this video helpful. Um, the main thing is, you know, you definitely don't have to be using the same exact rods as I'm using, but if you really want a rod with a light tip when fishing with rooster tails, just so you can get that extra cast ability. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. But I'll catch you guys on the next video, and as always, thanks for watching.